Okay, welcome to the second tutorial of Android app development using MIT App Inventor platform, where you don't have to write syntactual coding. Here you have to write the only block-based coding. You need to add the components. Which components you need for your Android application? You need to add sensors. You need to add photos. You need to add buttons. So you can use that. You can code that buttons by using the block-based. So suppose if I add the button here. I'm just explaining you. In the first tutorial, we have seen about the palette section, that is component section. And whenever you add any component, it will get added to the component section here. Yeah. And the next, if you want to change the properties of that button, then you can change the properties of this button or any component which you have added. You can change the properties in property section. Now you can create a new project from my project section, and from connect, you can able to test the project. There are three options available: USB, emulator, and AI companion. And build, build is basically for sharing your Android application. Now, now I want to just give you here the uh, user interface of block-based coding. Now, this is the complete designer window. Here, you need to design your application. Right? You can design here visual of means UI of your application. Now, let's go to the blocks now. Click on blocks. Now, here you will get the built-in blocks. Now, what are the built-in blocks? These are the blocks which are already present here. Now, control block where you will get all the conditional statements, right? If then, if then else, all the logical and all the conditional statement you will get here. In logic section, you will get the logical block that is and or not equal to and true and false operators. In maths, you will get the math mathematical operators. All the mathematical operators we used to do the coding in C and all like that, but but. It is in graphical programming. It's a graphical programming. It's a block-based programming. Okay. So in text, we can join the different text. You can add the text box and all. You can create list here. Yeah, this is list. There are various built-in built-in blocks available. You can use variables here, right? And you can. This is the procedure. This is like a function. This is like a function. In normal coding, we'll use a function. We call that function. We can use the reuse that function. As many as as many times. So same thing here is a procedure. You need to create a procedure, or you can create a function. It's like a function. Variables. You all know that we we can initialize the variables for storing the values and all. Now these are the built-in blocks. These are already present. Now what I want here, I want to, I want to change. Uh, I want to change the means. If I press on the button, then what my button should do? If when I press a button, what my app should do? Right? What my app will do? So in button, you will get the blocks for button. Now, when 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 you need to drag this, when button one click do, when button one will click uh, one click, what you want to do, what your application will do, you can add all these commands. If you want to add pictures, if you want to uh, if you want to produce a sound, if you want to play the video like that, you can do. So this is the blocks. Whenever you as much as component you can you can add, you will get the blocks for that. If I add, if I add, uh, for example, let's say, mm, let's say, uh, if I add text box, for example, now I have added text box here. You can see the text box I have added here. Now you will get the text box in box as well. Now, now whenever we are going to create an Android application, now we can add so many components. So you will get confused. Now. You need to rename your components. You can rename your components. For example, I want to rename this component that is button one. Now, what is the use of this button one? So, for example, my the button one I am going to use it for submission. Submit something. So, I'll write here submit. Click to submit. Like this, you can. You can add click to submit. Okay, like this. Okay, so I have added. Now I have renamed here. You can you can rename this as well. So this is how you can rename. Now you can see the blocks. Now the name in the block section also changes. You can see the, all the names changes here. All the names change here. Yeah. So now this is how you can change. Now, so uh, this is about the block interface of this MIT App Inventor platform. Now this bag you can see the bag on the right side. This bag is basically for whenever you are using the same blocks of code for n number of times, then you can add this. Add this command in bag. You can have, you can store this, right? If I want to store, I can store this one as. Well. You can see here, 
if I open bag, if I open my bag, you can see there are various components I have added in the various blocks I have added in the bag. So bag is basically it's a storage, storage of blocks. Okay. So thank you. So this is the second tutorial regarding the blocks of the MIT Open Order platform. Now in the next tutorial we have started. We'll start to build one simple Android app. Okay, thank you.